today I've got my Galaxy Note 2 right here and I'm going to show you guys how to install a custom ROM on this device. Um, now this ROM is going to be uh, Jelly Beans ROM by Beans Town, uh, an awesome developer and this is build 19 is what we're going to install. Um, and I'll go through all that with you guys. Um, but first I just want to go over some prerequisites on this. Um, let me just show you guys what I'm actually running on this device right, right now. So we're going to go to About Phone. And you can see that this is Android version 4.1.2, which is Jelly Bean. This is the Verizon edition of the Galaxy Note 2. And my build number is MC3, which is the latest OTA update for this device. So you can see what I've got. Now, prerequisites on this thing are going to be you need to have uh, root permission, obviously, uh, with Super SU or Super User Application. Um, and you're going to need to have an unlocked bootloader and a custom recovery installed. Now, my last video showed you guys how to do that with an uh, application called Casual, so I'm not going to really go over any of that. But make sure you guys have all those features uh, set up. And then make sure you go ahead and download the file. I'm going to go to my files here and show you guys right here. This is the name of the file. note 2 dash jellybeans-b19zip that is our file and what we're going to do is go ahead and reboot the phone or power off the phone and then boot into custom recovery I have twerp recovery in here so we're going to power off now you can use applications that will reboot to recovery like goo manager or ROM toolbox there's a whole bunch of them that will reboot you into recovery so you don't have to go through this button process but I like to show you guys this just so you know how to do it um, so what we're going to do is hold the home button, hold the volume up button, keep holding them, and then hold the power button. And just hold all three buttons until you get to your custom recovery. Um, this also gets you into stock recovery if you have that installed. Stock recovery, you cannot flash anything from there, so you need to have a custom recovery to install around. So here you go, we have now got to our recovery. Now, first thing I'd recommend anytime you install a ROM is do your Nandroid backup. Go ahead and highlight everything and then swipe across and do an Android backup. I've already got a backup right here, so I'm not really going to worry about it right now. Um, next, you're going to go to Wipes and go ahead and swipe across, and this is going to uh, wipe your device. Go back. That gives you a clean slate to install this ROM on. Now this is really cool because this does have Aroma Installer built into it and gives you tons of options during setup and you're going to see that as we go through here. So we're going to go to Installs, ROMs, the ROM, and then we're going to go ahead and flash it. So now once we, we get into this, it's going, to, it's going to boot up Aroma Installer. And what Aroma Installer does is gives you tons and tons of features and you get to basically design your ROM during the install. So this is really, really cool. A very neat uh, tool that the developer has put into his ROM. So if we're just going to go ahead and hit next. Um, tells you a bunch of stuff to agree to. Hit next. Uh, tells you the changes on his last couple builds. Or maybe all of them, I'm not sure. But we're on build 19 and there's they all are. Alright. Run, ROM installation, system information, quit. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and do this one right here and hit next. Let's go back really quick. So this says device what to wipe. We already wiped everything else. We'll do this again just because we already wiped it, this but we'll do it again because the app, app wants us to, or the Roma Star wants us to do it. Um, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Um, recent app style. Do you want stock recent apps or sense recent apps? Let's go with sense just to see. Now you can do battery style. You, you can see the customization here is really, really crazy. So we're going to do blue circle with percentage. Yeah, we'll do that one. That looks good. Um, color of toggles. So you want Saijin or ice cream sandwich blue or white. We'll stay with white. Toggles shown six. Yep, that's the toggles across the top. We'll stay with that. Show text label. Do not use. All right, that's fine. What we got here? Background. We're gonna go with black, and then hit next. Um, and like I said, as you can see, this is just super customizable. So touch whiz, 
email that's that's fine I'm gonna leave that launcher you can pick your launcher which one you want uh, I'm gonna go with Nova because I want to have all the features of this round but I want the custom uh, launcher so that's pretty cool file browser here we're definitely gonna do ES file manager and um, that's very cool touch Wiz messaging I'll leave that both keyboards Google I like Google keyboard way better than touch Wiz, so I'm gonna stay with that one uh, music player touch Wiz is cool a sound is yep AOSP I'll stay with that now you get to pick all the applications you guys want in here. So all the Google applications are already highlighted. Um, I'll share. I don't really use print. No. No, I don't use the wallpaper. S Voice, I'll turn on. Samsung Setup Wizard, don't want it. Just extra stuff on there. So we'll go ahead and hit next. Backup Sys, don't want. My Verizon, don't want. Visual Voicemail, don't want. Just all depending. I do like Dropbox. I'm going to use that one. I'll use that also VPN terminal no yep that's good I don't use VPN so I'm not gonna use it so it just, it just it just gives you tons of customization okay so I'm gonna go with stock kernel you can put you can pick your custom kernel here uh, I'm not gonna really mess with that right now just because I haven't researched any of them so I'm gonna stay with stock kernel and then SD swap option I don't want to swap them so I'm gonna leave those right there and there you go so we just picked all of our options on how we want to set up this ROM and we were able to totally customize basically our ROM for us, which is just awesome and why Aroma Installer is so much fun and so cool that they put this into ROMs. So let's let this install and we'll come back to it. Alright, so you guys can see right here we've uh, wiped a couple things, formatted, preparing, cleaning, writing, data and system and it's going through its process. Sorry. So here you go, you can see you're, you're setting up all the stuff that you guys picked, or I picked. Um, all things to be in, installed, which is just awesome. Um, and you can see it does have all the Samsung applications, you know, S-Note and all those kind of things. So your S-Pen and all that should function fine with this. Alright, so that's done. So we can hit next. And then it just says reboot. So we'll just hit reboot. And it's going to close and it'll reboot itself out of recovery. I'm going to go ahead and watch this boot animation because that's just what I do. And I'll go through setup and show you guys the ROM. Ooh, check out the boot animation. Yeah. Jelly Beads ROM. I just love seeing anything at a time you see something different. Something just different on the phone that you haven't seen before. This animation I've not seen. That's really cool. All right, we'll let this boot up. We'll come back to it. All right, so here we go. We have uh, booted up here. And... Um, let me just show you guys this device here. You can see we are running Nova on this as you have Nova settings right there. Um, you can go through all those settings. Um, let's go ahead and see what we have on here. We have uh, Jelly Bean Gallery down there for an application. Um, we do have Flash Player settings already built into it, Dropbox, because I picked that as an application. Very, very cool. Um, multi Window Control. Ooh, yeah, this is cool. So it looks like you can do some adding applications to your multi-window for multi-window support for this feature right here. Ooh, which is actually even themed itself. It's not. It's got this little blue bar on it. That's really cool. So we have that feature built into there. You do have your paper artisan, photo editor, S Voice, S Note, pop-up browser. I'm not sure how that functions. Terminal because we picked for that one. Same with Apollo. Uh, Apollo. I'm sorry. Polaris. I think it's Polaris. I don't even know how to say that. Um, office and your music player right there. Also navigation, basic uh, stuff right there. Let's go ahead and check out widgets really quick. Yeah, pretty pretty standard right there. Also, now you can see up here in your notification, um, your battery percentage, your Wi-Fi. And then you can say I don't have signal, but just because I don't have a SIM in this device right now. All right, and then here is your toggles. And, oh, yeah, there's a ton of them in there. All kinds of uh, fun, cool stuff right there. You can toggle on and off along with hotspot. And then we'll go into settings. Custom settings. So this is where you get into all of the fun, really cool um, modifications you can do in the device. So first let's go to go ahead and go to ROM controls um, and we'll do general mods. This has to do with your keyboard and long pressed kills things. 
um, lock screen mods, enable AOSP lock screen, ripple effect, I like the ripple effect on the lock screen, ink effect, settings, and Samsung settings, a whole bunch of little uh, stuff you can customize and mod, mod in there. Um, let's go to clock options, so clock style, we're going to go center just because I like it better up there in the center, you can see that, um, AM, PM, don't show that, I'm going to get rid of that, and just some customization you can do right there, status bar mods, um, so battery bar, enable, so we're going to say show, you can see the battery bar up there, and then we're going to go thickness, and I like to make it a little thicker, but I like that. And it's just one other way to do things with your battery bar or your battery percentage in here. Um, and a bunch of other little, obviously, customizations, toggle settings. Um, you guys can adjust, show and hide different things. Um, so like button orders. This is for all of your pull downs up here on the top. And you can rearrange and modify those. So that's going to be ROM controls. Then let's go to custom app settings. Um, so you can have Pi controls, CPU controls um, for your kernel and adjust CPU, S Pen keyboard switcher, you can do things there. Um, and let's see, you got exposed framework mods, you can install theme engines and all, all kinds of goodies in here. You can go play through. This is Jelly Beans OTA add-ons um, and what this actually does, if I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, it looks like you can go ahead and, what is this, Mo ROM, ROM mods, verse, miscellaneous apps, um, this looks like this is something he's got a server hooked up to, turn off ads, and you guys can go ahead and pull updates and stuff, I think, yeah, check for ROM updates. So if he puts out a rep update to this, you can go into here and you can get the updates for it, or you can look at kernels for this ROM. Let's see what it's got here. Stock kernel with NAD support and ADB. So that's what's on here right now. Um, just a whole bunch of cool stuff you guys can use through this OTA thing, which is very, very sweet. I like that a lot. That's really cool he added that in there. So let's move on and uh, check this out, see if there's anything. So call and message blocking is built into the application. That's pretty cool. Here's your power saving, so we'll turn that on. You can uh, edit all that and do what you want with it. Um, one hand operation, not sure how that functions, but some more settings in there. That is very, very sweet. Turning on motion and about phone. Let's go ahead and just see what we got. So yeah, it is the same exact uh, build number and Android version. It's just totally themed um, for what you guys want, uh, which is very cool. However you set it up, basically. Ooh, and I, I, really, I really dig that, uh, the little blue here. That's kind of a neat looking deal right there, so... There you go, that is uh, Beanstown ROM Jelly Beans on the Galaxy Note 2. I uh, hope you guys like it, very, very cool. I think it's awesome. Roma installer is radical for this device, very, very cool. Uh, as always, please check me out right up here at uh, rootjunkie.com. I'm adding stuff to this thing daily. Facebook and Twitter over there. All your links are going to be down in the video description down below. Uh, go ahead and give uh, Beanstown, the creator of this application, or ROM, a big thanks. And check out his uh, form here on XDA. All your directions and downloads. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.